and Jason, especially you over the years, you have your dad, you know, what was it like, you know, being in Bill Shire's home? You got notes for dinner, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Take these things, and you're going to trust these to reliable people, okay, who will also be qualified to teach others. You're going to train leaders, you're going to raise up leaders, that's what you do. What you do when you're a pastor of a church, you raise up leaders. Mm-hmm. Going on, join with me, this is a nice word, in suffering. <laughs> What's that all about? <laughs> ministry, you don't have to look for it, it will come to you. Okay? The ministry, I'm going to get into what that all is. The ministry will have suffering in it. He gives you three things to do. This is my last exhortation. We're going to pray over you. Like a good soldier of Christ Jesus. No one serving as a soldier gets entangled with civilian, uh, civilian affairs, but rather tries to please his commanding officer. The first picture Paul gives you is a soldier who wants to please his commander. You're going to live with the pleasure of God. Mm-hmm. That's what's going to happen. You can't live with the pleasure of man. Because man will fail you. Mm-hmm. If you lead and you live and you minister to the pleasure of God. The second thing is this. He says, similarly, anyone who competes as an athlete does not receive the victor's crown except by comp- competing according to the rules. Come on, you have restriction on your life. Come on, God wants to, you have to play according to the rules in your motive, mm-hmm. but play according to the rules in your in, in your interests, mm-hmm. your habits, your thoughts, the way you treat people, come on, according to the rules. And when those things are not done, I want to tell you, we, we deal with situations all the time where things crash. So we've got to compete according to the rules. And the last picture Paul gives this, a hardworking farmer should be the first to receive to share the crops. <coughs> ministry is work. I used to call ministry W-O-R-K. <laughs> One person said, you've got to pray as if work never helps, you've got to work as if prayer never helps. Involves the work of the ministry. So, so proud to lay hands on you today. Ordain you. You know, God's already ordained you. Man, it's just agreeing with God today. Yeah. Amen. And so, we're going to pray. Who's got a word for you? Yeah, I just, uh, the word, I don't even know what the city of Tacoma that word means, but the, war, the Lord showed me that there's something in the na- meaning of that that city, and it has to do with you guys adding the water to some very dry places. And you have the water of the Holy Spirit, and you have that anointing of the Holy Spirit. And today is, maybe it just looks like, you know, a, a formality, but as I told some of your team members, today there comes on you a new anointing and a new power and ability by the Spirit to affect a place that's dry and a people that you're going to touch. So it's going to be the water that you have. And God is going to fill you up today and this and, and this time forth with something new. I know that that just seems, I know you've already been working hard. And I know you've already understood the principles of God. But there is something that is the operation of the Spirit that's out of your strength, not out of your strength, but He comes today to give you a fresh ability that is going to touch that area of those people that He's given you. Amen. Amen. Now let's stretch our hands towards them. Lord God, I want to just thank you for just the opportunity to join with family and friends, Lord, as we lay hands upon this precious couple. Lord, I'm I'm thankful for Jason and for Jamie and for their heart for the kingdom of God. Lord, this is not something they sought after. This is not something that he woke up with his idea. This was birthed in him. This was birthed deep in him. And Lord, as he has sought the process on how to do this best, he's done it with fear and trembling. And Lord, I know that you honor that man and the woman of God who comes before you with all humility, with their hands and arms wide open, trusting and believing in you. Lord, looking to you for the plan and the process and the people that can help them and support them. And Lord, we say thank you for calling this couple. Thank you, Lord God, for your anointing upon them. Thank you, Lord God, for the leadership gifts that you have placed in them. I thank you, Lord God, for the teaching gift that you placed in Jason and in Jamie, and Lord, the ministry of the Holy Spirit that shall go from them. And so, Lord, we anoint them. Lord God, these hands, Lord God, that represent you, we lay upon them, believing and trusting that you're the one, Lord, that's pouring the oil upon them, that you're the one.
one, Lord, that's making them a vessel that's useful for you. We believe you, Lord God, in the work that you're going to do in Restoration Tacoma. The neighborhoods, Lord God, that they're going to have an impact in. The people, the ethnicities, the cultural groups, Lord God, that they're going to connect with. We also thank you, Lord, for obviously the new, uh, the lives that will be born again. But those that come alongside them, seasoned people, mature people, people who have been praying, Lord God, for a ministry that they will lead, that will come alongside them and, and help them. And Lord, we believe in you as the word of the Lord has come, as Susan Sue has also spoken. We believe you, Lord God, to do some great and awesome things. Lord, protect them. Watch over them, Lord God, as they seek your face. Lord, to lead them and direct them, Lord, almost like the, like the pillar of fire, uh, Lord God, by night and the cloud by day. Guide them step by step. Show them the path. Show them the way. Use them, Lord God, in a mighty way. But also keep them healthy. Lord, I pray good health over them and over their family. Lord God, that they would be strong in the spirit and strong in their body. I pray for prosperity over them, that they have to not worry about finances whatsoever, not for, not for their personal life or not for the work of the church. And may they prosper in you as you are glorified, as you are lifted up, as you are acknowledged, as they lay this ministry before you, their life, their hands, their work. We declare, Lord God, that you shall do a great, great work through them. We join with it by faith, believe in you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Jesus, mighty name. Everybody say amen. 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 